Hi, single Geminis. This is going to be a reading for the single Geminis for September 26th to September 29th, 2022. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you're staying positive, protected, blessed, and prayed up. And keep your guards all the way up. Single Gemini. Without a message, spirit guides, may God, an angel or angel ancestors. My God, our angel, Holy Spirit, our angel, Charles Chambers, my God, the angel. Without the messages for the Geminis, single Geminis. Without a single Gemini, thinking, really doing, what are they up to? What are they going through? Single Geminis. What is going on around the single Geminis? What is happening around the single Gemini spirit, guys? What do the single Gemini needs to know, see, and hear? Single Geminis. What are the messages, spirit, guys? For the single Geminis. Okay, we're going to cut the cards. Single Geminis. What are the messages, spirit, guys? For the single Geminis. Okay, just a minute. All right. So the bottom card, single Geminis, we got the Queen of Swords. You're dealing with a Libra. This could be authority figure, case with a co-worker, somebody in your family, friend of me, enemy, who? This is someone's talking shit. Cold-hearted, cold-blooded towards you. Gossiping about you. Saying this and saying that about you. Okay, this is a Libra, queen of swords. So this could be someone that you don't deal with, you don't fuck with, you cut off, uh, you turned off. Uh, this could be a case work, a co-worker that just don't like you, jealous of you, envy of you, intimidated by you. About what you do, how you look, your beauty, your knowledge. Whatever you do, this person don't like you. This person is threatened by you, intimidated by you. This person feel like you, you're a competition, okay? All right? So this could be a teacher, a doctor, a judge, a lawyer. It could be any freaking body, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm keeping this fucking shit 100 all right, Spirit, let me do this reading because I've been picking up all types of bullshit. And, you know, stalker, energy, spying, gossiping, lying, betraying, backstabbing. But anyway, this Queen of Swords, you got someone that's talking shit about you. That's trying to talk shit about you, okay? Or this could be you, Gemini. Set a motherfucker straight. Put a motherfucker in their place. Let a motherfucker alone. Don't cross your line. You know what I'm saying? So this could be you standing up for yourself as well, protecting yourself, letting a motherfucker know, don't fuck with me. I am not the one to be fucked with. You will get fucked up. Okay? So like I said, this leap we're talking shit. Death card. This is new beginnings. This is about your new beginnings. You're moving on. You're moving forward on your life purpose, on your life path, on your dreams and goals, your success. So this is you moving forward. You're moving on. You got time for the bullshit. You don't got time for the bullshit, the little shit. So this is you knowing your worth, knowing your path, knowing which way to go. Okay, new beginnings. Okay, leaving behind old shit, dead shit, end into a situation, end into a relationship, just end into all negative bullshit that's trying to come into your life. Also, this card means, means too, someone can be coming back from your past. This could be someone that had a third party on you, go to you, neglected you, abandoned you. This could be someone that had kids on you, marriage on you, and now all of a sudden they want to come back. This is somebody that don't give a fuck how you feel or who feel or who whatsoever, even in yourself. They don't care how they self feel. But this is someone like to walk over people's feelings like a sidewalk. This is someone that don't care about how people feel. They get what they want by hurting people, manipulating people, betraying them, backstabbing them. Conning them, brainwashing them. So this is someone see that you're moving on, you're moving forward with new beginnings, and all of a sudden, bam, they want to pop up. Like pop smoke. <laughs> so this is new beginnings for you, Death Car. You moving on. Okay, let's stop. Judgment. So we got judgment. So someone's trying to judge you. Or this could be some legal situation that's pending, something that's pending, you waiting to get back, you waiting to hear from, okay? But this could be some people that's judging you, trying to judge you. Shit is being said, this and this and that. Never judge a book by its cover. 
Okay. Also, this could be your spirit guides, your ancestors, your loved ones from heaven reaching down to you, trying to send you a message, trying to let you know you're on the right path. You're doing your thing. You're doing the right thing. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Keep it forward. Okay. It means your ancestors, your spirit guides, your loved ones. They're letting you know you're on the right track, Gemini. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't go backwards. Keep going forward. All right? Like I said, this could be a group of people that's judging you, saying shit about you when they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. See, like I said, jealousy, when they come down to lying on people, betraying, backstabbing, stalking them, hating on them, trying to hurt them, that's a mental illness. You don't overdo it. You done pass the motherfucking line. Now it's time to get your motherfucking time. Okay, so this is judgment. Like I said, this can be something legal, like a legal situation that's something that's pending. It can be a court case, child support. It can be anything. Inheritance, lawsuit, whatever. Something that you're waiting to get back. You're waiting to hear from. Okay, so it go all types of ways, both ways. Woo, six of wands. Success, victory is yours, Gemini. Single Gemini. Or Gemini, if it resonates with you, or cross watchers, or whosoever. But six to one, victory and success, dreams, goals, you're following your life purpose. You can be a celebrity, very popular, very famous. You got people watching you, following you, listening to you as well. Okay? You got people peeping around the corner, on, on top of the roof, looking down. <laughs> but this is yours. You follow your life purpose, your dreams, goals, success, achievements. You could be a singer, dancer, rapper, actress, actor, a model, you know, modeling, uh, <laughs> a, a reader, okay, a singer, or whatever, an entrepreneur, a tarot card reader, okay? But this is you winning and spinning and not bending. you going towards your dreams and goals. Okay, leaving all holes. Okay, so success is yours. That's why your spirit guides don't give up. Your loved ones, your ancestors, spirit guides from heaven, they rooting for you, they shouting for you. They like Gemini, you are a winner, you are a leader. Keep it moving. We got your back, just like that. Bam, we have the ace of wands. What did I tell you? New beginnings. You're very gifted and very talented and blessed. Got the best. You ain't got to prove to the rest because it ain't no contest. This is you. Being recognized, being discovered for who you are, for who you is, the things you do, whatever you do for living whatsoever. But this is you. Your seeds are growing and flowing. Okay? This is you being motivated, inspiring, inspiration to people. People, like I said, you got that energy. You got that Red Bull energy. <laughs> I love Red Bull energy. That's my drink. Yeah. You got that energy that make people want to get next to you. You know? Ace of Wands, new beginnings, new ideas, being very creative. This is you coming up with solutions and constitution. This is you. Just just got bright ideas. This is you. God damn it. Shit, you charged up. This is you being recognized, discovered for your gifts and talents. You're very gifted. You can be a light worker, practitioner, healer. Uh, a chosen one, star, see, earth angel, something very, very gifted and blessed, very talented. People sees that. Very mysterious and curious. People very mysterious and curious about you. <laughs> you know, like damn, how she, how she, how he, how they do that? When, when Gemini, when she, he became. A singer, a dancer, a writer, a leader, a tarot card reader, psychic. You know, people is mysterious and curious about you. That's their problem. As long as you're doing something right, that's all right. You know, you ain't trying to force nothing on no one. You ain't trying to make no one listen to you. You're doing you. You keep it real. Keep it 
Nigeria. <laughs> but yeah, this is you. Like, believing in yourself, having faith in your dreams and goals. You know? And that's what takes you a long way. It's believing in yourself. Fuck with somebody else said. Of course people going to hate. If they ain't doing what you do, and if they can't do what you do, of course they're going to hate. Why hate? They should be learning from you. Like they said, if they can't beat you, Gemini, they about to join you. Because you ain't giving up. Ace of Wands. <laughs> oh, wait, look, we got five of swords. Five of swords. Five of swords. You could be looking at these people. You could be like, damn, why these people acting weird and shit? What's wrong with them? This could be your family member or friends, friend of enemies, people wearing masks and masks is coming off. You seen these people true colors. You like, what's the fuck up? Like, what is going on? Also, these could be common people that's talking you. This could be family members, frenemies, enemies, people that's stalking you, spying on you, jealous of you, envy of you. Okay? So be very careful. Just, you know, I ain't saying be scared. Just keep your guards up. Targeting you. Don't want to see you move forward. Don't want to see you move on. They know you are here for greatness. Your calling. This is your calling. Okay? You are divinely protected. Yes. You are high priest. Very psychic. Mm -hmm. These people know you have a great destination. You have a destiny. Your life is like a platinum of gold, you, you, you know. You are here to teach, preach, and heal. Okay? You can be a divine empress, divine feminine, divine masculine, who will soever. But you got enemies and frenemies watching you, stalking you, spying on you online, watching you on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. Might be by your house. Trying to throw you off. Trying to get all your energy. Trying to make you scared, fearful, nervous. Stop playing. The chariot. So, I don't know if you're moving, Gemini. You're thinking about moving? This could be a counselor that's coming towards you. Like I said, your spirit guy's trying to tell you something about someone, somebody. This person that's coming in towards you cannot be trusted. So, this could be someone you haven't seen in a long time, or this could be a secret admirer, someone new that have a crush on you, that's coming towards you. And your spirit guy's letting you know, hey, Gemini, Listen to your intuition, your instincts. Keep it up. Somebody coming towards you, pretending to be something that they're not. Just to knock you off, betray you, backstab you, you know, deceive you. Cherry means victory, success as well. In the location, moving, move to a new home, house. Like I said, a new relationship. You might get a phone call about I don't know. Somebody haven't heard from you years. Some important that good news or something. Yeah, this could be the police as well. You have a crooked ass cop on the block. They're trying to get you locked. <laughs> so you got a crooked ass cop that's watching you, spying on you and shit. You know, so be very careful. People are crooked, like crickets. Cause I don't, I don't think crickets are crooked. They just crickets. <laughs> Shit. But this could be a crooked ass cop as well. Spirit said, "Listen, pay attention. You got a crooked ass cop. So that's watching you online. You be, be you will be surprised. People are fucking weird. That's why you can't trust people. Queen of Pentacles. Look at you. That's you, baby. Minding your fucking business." Manifesting, meditating. Focus on your health, your wealth, your business, your family. You don't got time for the bullshit. You don't got time for the low vibration energy, the toxicity. You don't have time for it. 
That's why you're winning and spinning, not bidding. And you're minding your business. You've been there and done that. You healing. Motherfuckers backstab you, betray you, deceive you and shit. Even your own family. You don't give a fuck. You know why? Because you're a soldier. You're a leader. You're a boss. You know God is on your side. You know God got you. Your ancestors, spirit guides. You know what they're trying to do. People are intimidated by your growth, your strength, your knowledge, your skills. Your faith, your beliefs, your confidence. So this is you. Your mind is on your money and your money is on your mind and you ain't got time. Bam, you got a Scorpio, King of Cups, that's watching you. Very emotional, frustrated, frowning up at you and shit. This person can be kind of moody and bipolar. I don't know, this could be a friend or family member, a friend of me, enemy, whosoever. But this is someone see that you're moving on to new beginnings. They're looking at you, how talented and gifted you are. They don't like that shit. They feel like you owe them something. They feel like they have a supposed to have a part of your blessings. Yeah, this is Scorpio, King of Cups. Someone's looking like Gemini thinks she the shit. He thinks she the he think he the shit. Then they what they Bitch, bad. I supposed to be doing that. You got a Scorpio saying, I supposed to be doing that. How's she getting recognition? How's she being discovered? How's she, like, that's supposed to be my place she in. You got a Scorpio that's looking at a lot of people too. Like, looking at you like, wait a minute. Damn. That's supposed to be my position. If you ain't put in the work, how is it going to be your position? How is it going to be your place? If you ain't do the job or do the works, you know what I'm saying? So you got people that's that's cuckoo like Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> oh, hell no. Yeah, Gemini. You got motherfuckers trying to put you on hold, set you back, cause blockages and lays for you. You got a Gemini. I mean, you got Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aquarius that's coming towards you with six swords. Okay, with a, a bunch of bullshit trying to throw you off, trying to distract you, coming in with some argument, just coming in with that low vibration shit. Also, this could be you moving to calmer waters, getting away from this bullshit, this toxic ass, narcissistic flying monkey devil shit. Okay, yeah, ten of swords, yeah. You got motherfuckers trying to backstab you, betray you, deceive you, trying to end something for you, stop you, block you. Yeah, you, yeah, the game Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got, you got a, you got a Scorpio holding back their affection, holding back their feelings, being selfish towards you, don't want to compliment you, but you don't need nobody to compliment you. I mean, it's okay for someone to compliment you. If the motherfucker don't want to compliment you out of jealousy, who wants that? I don't want your compliment if you're jealous. I don't want your compliment if you don't mean well. Like, go to hell. <laughs> okay, let me clarify some cards, okay? Yeah, you got some people mad because you, you you know, you got a Virgo watching you behind the scene. This could be a tarot card reader or a reader or whoever whatsoever. But someone's watching you behind the scene. Mm-hmm. They could be doing spell work, black magic, juju, hoodoo, voodoo on you, gray out work on you. They could, be, they could be, like, investigating you. Trying to figure you out, trying to see what you're doing, what you're up to. This could be someone hiding something from you. This could be a friend of me, an enemy, a witch, a warlock. Someone's mad about your money, about your work, your position, your job, whatever you do. Like I said, someone's jealous of that. Okay. Clarify the five of swords for the single Geminis. Clarify the five of swords spirit for the single Geminis. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody knows you're the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody see that you're moving on to bigger and better things. Okay? Also, be careful. You got somebody coming in. This could be a family member, friend, friend, enemy, who, whatever. With a fake-ass apology. A fake-ass forgiveness. Fake and phony pretending. To find out and see what you got going on in your house. What you're doing. Trying to steal from you. 
manipulate you, con you, scam you. So you got some people that's trying to block you from this new person that's coming in. It could be a Virgo coming in towards you. I don't know, this person sees you as wife material, husband material. Someone sees you as a ten of pentacles. Someone sees that you they can be, you know, y'all can have business together, chemistry together. Is this someone sees you as the mother of their child? Like I said, this could be a family member, a friend, someone that needs your help or need a place to stay. This could be someone that needs, they won't, well, they won't show money. Okay, so be very careful. Somebody coming in trying to sell you something. Read the fine print. You know, before you write your signature or whatsoever. But this could be someone trying to block you from new love, block you from this person coming towards you. This could be your divine counterpart. You never know. Your divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever. Yeah, what's the five of swords, ten of pentacles? Yeah. You got some people that's hating and want to see you move on. They don't want to see you move forward. Page of swords. You got a Gemini Libra Aquarius that's stalking you, spamming you, being very deceptive towards you. You could be online, by your house. Or this could be you, Gemini, defending yourself, standing up for yourself, protecting yourself. Because you know somebody on some bullshit. Okay? But be very careful. You never know who is who and what is what. But you got somebody that wants to come in pretending. So you never know. They could be pretending, but you just be careful. Five of swords, what's the five of swords? Ten of pentacles, somebody slick, up to no good as well. So be very careful. Be careful who you give your information out, who you tell your business to as well. Single Geminis. Clarify the chariot. Eight of Pentacles fell out. So someone sees that you're working, you're making your money, you're doing whatever, and they want to come in and distract you and throw you off, fuck you up. Yeah, does someone see that you, you, you're doing good? Okay. This is someone who wants your job position, your money. Whatever you got going on, this is someone trying to throw you off your focus. Like I said, this could be a crooked-ass cop, a crooked-ass family member, a friend, friend of me, enemy, or a new love, a new person. Okay, this popped out like that, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone trying to throw you off your distraction, fuck with your money, fuck with your career, your business, whatever you're working on. This is someone trying to come in and throw you off, distract you, take that from you. Jealous of you, envy of you. Yeah. This is someone uh, that's jealous of your work, jealous of your money. Whatever position, whatever you do, whatever you got going on, you got somebody that's coming towards you. Maybe the, I don't know, they want to work with you. Okay. But that don't seem like that. This is someone's trying to come in and throw you off your focus. Trying to interfere what you got going on. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the single Geminis. The Queen of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Cups. You got someone scoping you out. Stalking, spying on you. Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio energy. Yeah. This person, I don't know if this is a secret admirer, a serial killer, a pedophile, a friend of me, enemy. This person can be delusional, dr uh, high, drunk, mental illness, mental issues. This could be an ex of yours, a lover, a family member, friend of me, enemy, whosoever, or undercover. But someone's looking at you, trying to find out what you're doing. What's Gemini so quiet about? What is Gemini hiding? You ain't hiding shit. You're hiding from their ass. You're protecting yourself from the devil. <laughs> but someone's trying to be in your business like nosy like what's, what's Gemini doing Gemini ain't paying me no attention Gemini ain't even thinking about me Gemini ain't even looking at me what's Gemini doing I want Gemini attention so I'm going to stop Gemini I'm going to be in Gemini's energy to throw her off to throw him off to distract him nope this is someone got mental issues mental illness someone delusional they fucking cuckoo like Cocoa Puffs. Chemical imbalance and shit. Out of their fucking mind. Negative. Low vibration. They don't think positive. They think all types of negative in, ill intentions towards you. Person cuckoo.
crazy. Schizophrenia. Eight of swords. Yeah, they want to have you in the eight of swords. Stuck, trapped. They want you to be all in your head, fucked up like them. They projecting on you. They projecting their insecurity, their low self-esteem up on you. This is how they feel. Stuck and trapped, confused. Mental prisoner. They want to see you crazy. They want to see you lose it like them. That's why they stalking you. They feel stuck and trapped. Because they feel it stuck in trap. They want to see you stuck in trap. Oh, let's see. Is the black magic working? Is the binding spells working on Gemini? Let me see. Let me see. Is it working? <laughs> yeah, this is someone sick. Yeah, they could be, like I said, they could be doing spell work on you. Trying to see if this, is, it, is it working? No, it's not, Satan. Because I bind your ass and I bind all negative energy, bad energy, witchcraft, and magic voodoo spells, hexes, and curses, and blocks, and got slides, hurt, pain, sickness, illness, and money blockages in Jesus' name. Stop playing. Yeah. You are protected. You got an angel around you. Okay? You are protected. There's a loved one around you. Spirit got ancestors. Spirit got loved ones around you protecting you. Okay, got someone that's obsessed with you too. Be a fire sign that's obsessing over you. Okay, let me hurry get off this reading because I gotta go. Clarify the King of Cups for the single Gemini's. King of Cups, thank you. The moon, what did I tell you? <laughs> Water sign, deception, lies. Something's being hidden. Hidden genders and motives and flaws and all. Arterial motives and all that. Someone got a hidden agenda. Someone is not right. Someone's jealous of you. Envy of you. Hiding something from you. But they don't want to... They trying to hide the fact that they have mental illness. That they are fucking delusional. Or they trying to hide the fact that they still have feelings for you. They trying to hide the fact that they've been gossiping, spreading, you no know, spreading lies and rumors and shit like that about you. But you are protected by the tempest. You can be a star seed, earth angel, chosen one. The moon card. The Scorpio hiding something. They not hiding. They think they hiding. Deception, delays, emotions, ups and down. This is the one that can't control their fucking temper. They start going off like a fucking bomb, volcano. They just also they just start bubbling it up, blowing up. This is the one that can't control their mouth. Their mouth is like diarrhea. Every time it's open, it runs out. It runs out when even in clothes. They shit just runs over. Talking shit, they don't know what they're talking about. This is the one jealous of you. Envy of they mad because you don't fuck with them, you don't deal with them, you don't socialize with them. Or whatsoever. Okay, let's get... Uh, let me see. What's the moon about? Give me more information on the moon card for the single Geminis. Spirit gave me two more. I mean, you gave me too many. I got three of swords, jealousy, envy, deception, lies, heartbroken, breakup. Okay, you got a king of wands that's watching you. Fire sign, ears of your Sagittarius. It could be an undercover cop. A uh, master and female, master and man, or an ex of yours, or a lover. Okay, Six of Pentacles, money. You got a Queen of Cups that's watching you, stalking you, spouting you. This could be a mother figure, grandmother, auntie, grandfather, a case with a coworker. This is someone giving you the evil eye, sending you next to energy. This is someone that you don't talk to or deal with. Uh, that's someone, this is someone that's intimidated by you. Clarify the moon card for the single Gemini's. What's the moon card about? Give me more spirit. Give me more on the moon. Thank you. A nine of cups. This is someone hot, drunk, got a drug problem, got a drug addiction. Yeah. This is someone. <laughs> this is someone. Got personality disorder. Like I said, they can be schizophrenic or bipolar. They drinks a lot. They have a drinking problem, a drug problem. They they have sexual desires for you. They attracted to you. 
okay? And there's nothing wrong with being attracted to someone. But when you're obsessed with someone, that's not love. Fate attraction, that's the mental illness shit. That's something you need to go see a counselor about or a psychiatrist about. But this is someone who has sexual desires, romance towards you, thinks about you in a sexual way, in a desirable way. Okay, this is someone that's very promiscuous. This is someone, I don't know if you had sexual intercourse with them, but this is someone that you turn them on, they're very attracted to you. They, they think all types of freaky things about you. Yeah, this is someone who wants to get you drunk, wants to get you high, wants to ask you out. Yeah, this is someone who wants to get freaky with you. Like I said, this person could be, like, I don't know if they're addicted to you by looking at you or uh, they're addicted to you. They're attracted to you. This is someone that gets around. Very promiscuous as well. Yeah. And they attract, this can be, you'd be surprised who, they, who this might be, but I don't want to say it. But, uh, yeah, this can be someone that, that likes you. They reminisce about you. And like I said, they can have a drug problem, drinking problem, a sex problem, or whatever problem. Okay? You probably never had sex with this person. This person just this person just wanna taste you, lick you. I don't know. <laughs> this person wanna ask you out. This person wanna I don't know, they want they wanna I don't know, they wanna be friends again or they I don't know. But anyway, moving on. Clarify the Eight of Swords for the single Gemini's. What's the Eight of Swords about? Thank you, Spirit. Four of Cups. This Cancer. Someone wants to make you... You got a Cancer that's disappointed. Because you're rejecting them and you don't want to deal with them. You don't want to talk to them. Or this is someone wants you to feel. They want you to feel disappointed, sad, isolated, mad, angry, upset, stuck. Like what? Five of Wands. Competition, jealousy, envy in the workplace, in the family. Okay, but yeah, is this someone trying to get you fired, make you mad, provoke you, start shit with you? Low vibration people that don't have a life, miserable. Yeah, this is someone, yeah, for because someone's mad because you reject him. Give me more on the Eight of Pentacles for the single Gemini spirit. Ace of, let me see, do I got this card? Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, security help me in. So whatever kind of work you do is bringing, is bringing in prosperity, new opportunities, is bringing in blessings, money, gifts, rewards, okay, from the divine, from above, your, your ancestors, your spirit guides, they are blessing you, rewarding you. So whatever work you do, you do spiritual work, you can be a spiritual healer, practitioner, light worker, whatever you do, it bringing in money. So spirit said, don't give up, don't stop. That's what your ancestors, spirit, spirit guides, Shot it down for head and said, You're doing good, you're on the right path, don't stop. So, you're being rewarded for your gifts and your talents, it's being paid off. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm talking too fast because I gotta, I gotta get out of here. So, I'm gonna do, yeah, clarify the Ten of Pentacles for the single Gemini. What's the Ten of Pentacles about? Four Swords. Someone sees that you at 